Today we're going to be discussing how to create a title block. In this particular example I've got displayed here, we've got a drawing that's been imported from AutoCAD into Magnet Office and a few additional things have been added to the actual title block such as these two images down the bottom here and some keywords such as the, for the title, details and lower right here the date, the scale and the file name. Some of those will actually populate when they actually uh, automatically populate when they actually uh, plot out to the printer or to a PDF file. So to create it, back to the main subject again, to create a title block, you select on the menu bar library, then you go to under the create section there, click on title block, and by default it comes up with an A1 paper size. Now, I know this particular example displayed on screen here is an A3, so I go down my drop-down list, pick A3. That's the paper size in there. The orientation, as you can see on the screen there, is landscape mode. But I change the margins. So I put them down to a, a smaller level, or minimum level, of 5 mils for left and right and top and bottom. Then I click on OK. Now, on the lower left of the taskbar there, it says click on the origin point. The origin point is the extreme bottom left hand corner of the perimeter of the actual title block, which is this lower left corner down here. So you snap on that, and it comes up with another prompt, select the first point for defining the drawing area. So the drawing area is the blank area that happens to be above this title information down here. Your, your drawing area is actually your plot window area. So what you do is you place your mouse down the bottom left hand corner, snap that point, and in this instance here, the um, drawing area has a, has a curved boundary at the top there. So what I'll do is I'll just snap this point over here, which is just below the actual top horizontal line, and then it comes up with this prompt save as, where you're going to save it to, and in this case it always will be your library. So what you have to do is then type over that and enter in a file name of what you want to save it as. So I'll save it as A3 test block and go save. Now I've got a title block that I can use in any job and create a plot window from it using that selection and that selected name and it will go through the drawing editor and so forth. So that's a quick way of actually creating a title block within Survey View. The other way of actually doing it is through Bile, Drawing. Just create a new drawing in there. It doesn't matter where you are, it can be a brand new job or existing job. And select New and it opens up Drawing Manager. So in here you can actually edit an existing title block or you can edit an existing um, title block frame. For example, if I wanted to edit the existing title block of um, insert title block, say for example it's an A2 title block I want to, I want to um, create in here. So you select from your library on the drop down list there there's A1, A2, A3 and A4 and it has the extension TBK. So it's basically just a plain rectangular frame which is the extreme printable area of that uh, size paper. So you put, select your title block there, you click on insert to edit, you must do that and then open. And it will display on screen this A2 frame all ready for you to actually insert your line work so if I click on line, I'm going to create a parallel line from the, on the bottom there. Select that bottom line, and you'd enter in an, an offset value. In this case, I'm just doing it by mouse. And cancel out of that. And you could enter in um, vertical lines for uh, blocks where you want to put your images, like a logo, your, your company logo image, or your um, title block frame. Um, title block names, etc. 
Over here are the keywords. Now, when you click on keywords, it's got these number of different um, details here, which we were looking at before, like details one, two, three, and four. You can put in the title, a date, a scale. And those there, the date and scale, and the others will all self-populate when it actually comes through to Drawing Manager and out to your printer. So, say for example, we have completed a title block in here under the A2 size. The next thing process you do is exactly what you did back in Survey View. You go to File, Save As section there, Title Block File. It recognises this time what the paper size is, so you don't have to pre-select it. it. Knows the orientation has been landscape. And again, I change the margins to 5 mils left and right, top and bottom, then go OK. And again, it comes up with this yellow frame, which is the, the, uh, the sheet size or the paper size. And then the green dashed line is the maximum printable area. So it asks you again to click on the origin point. So you zoom down to the bottom left hand corner, snap that point down there. Then it comes up with a select first point to define the drawing area. So again, you click the, the blank area, which is, happens to be in the top here. Snap on that. Go up to the top right and snap on that corner there. And this is, the, this is basically the plot window area. And again, you type in here um, a file name, A2 test block, and go save. Save to your library. So I'm just replacing one that's already in there. Now, if I was in a ordinary uh, writing uh, uh, job back in Survey View, in this example here, we've got some contours, we've got a routing design, and an example survey. So if I was wanting to create a, to uh, create a plot window, I'd go to File, Plot Window, Create, and then select from my list the A2 test block. So I go select on that and go Open. And it comes up with this drawing area, which is the plot window area. So say we just want to capture that at a scale of 1 to 500, then go OK. It plots you through to Drawing Manager, and there's my title frame. And imagine that you have um, additional information down there, being your company logo and so forth. So that's a simple process of creating a title block. Right, you've just seen how to create a title block using uh, the create title block within the survey view and also within the drawing manager. In this exercise here, I'm going to talk a little bit more about keywords. As we, as I explained initially, we had the title, we had these three down here called dollar detail one, two, and three, and also the scale and the date. Now, the, the dollar detail one, two, and three relates to what's given in the program settings. So if you go to program settings, you'll see user defined labels. This is under user information. User defined labels called project reference, stage, location, and plan number. So if I change that one from project reference to say job ref reference, then go OK to that screen. Now within a project, if I go to project settings, project details, you'll see that name, job reference, come up, whatever I've typed in. So you can change any of these uh, titles down here in the program settings screen. So that's how you set up your keywords. Those are the uh, detail one, two, and three relates to those ones down there, job reference, stage, location, and that's details four, if you wanted to put a fourth one in there. Okay. So if you go back into Drawing View, Drawing Manager, and the keywords, you'll see details 1, 2, 3, 4, and that relates to the user information. Other things like uh, title, obviously, will be the title of the job. The date will be the date of when it's actually output to a printer or to a PDF document. Scale will self-populate whatever the scale you've set from the plot scale. And when you create a plot drawing through to Drawing Manager, it will populate with the actual scale of the job. And sheet number and total sheets 
is self-explanatory. So that's basically what keywords are and how you can set up the details one, two, three, and four.